Good, whatever your time zone is. I hope you're having a good, uh, whatever your time zone is. But enough of the introductions though, because what we've got served on the slice of life today is the Tim Hortons equivalent, or at least that is what I believe, because I've never actually went to a Dunkin' Donuts before, is now being boycotted. And yeah, uh, this video is going to be smaller than typical, because y'all already know how I feel towards silly remarks like boycott, so not really going to be talking about the, the boycott, but rather the reasons for the boycott. Uh, Duncan and many other multi-billion dollar companies have been doing some under the table levels of quieting in the advertiser space, specifically in the directions towards X and Rumble. Now, uh, I'm a little confused as to why specifically Duncan, because this other place called uh, Diageo is not having the same level of boycotting like Duncan is. Uh, maybe it is because Duncan straight out just calls out the right-wing culture as being why they don't want to associate with Rumble, but that is just suspicion. So, if we take a look at Rumble's page, we will find several posts that are altogether about companies specifically targeting against right-wing culture. And one of those posts go over Rumble's pitch to Duncan for advertising over there. It goes, quote, we pitched Dunkin' Donuts and Inspire Brands because Rumble over-indexes with coffee consumption. Their discrimination against right-wing culture inspired us to build Rumble 1775 Coffee, a coffee for all cultures, which is doing great by the way. And uh, before we check out that email, let us check out just one more post. Quote, Both Diageo NA and Dunkin' Donuts want us to drop Crowder and get away from right-wing culture in order to get ad dollars from them. My response? No, we don't discriminate. All cultures are welcome on Rumble. Here are the emails we've received from both Inspire Brands, Dunkin' Donuts, and Diageo. Inspire Brands, Dunkin' Donuts, don't want to advertise on Rumble because of right-wing culture, and Diageo doesn't want to advertise when creators like Crowder are on Rumble. So, in other words, they just don't like conservative views. I would have given more understanding towards other creators on Rumble, a few come to mind, but Steven, in my opinion, isn't even that bad in comparison to a bunch of them. But, uh, maybe it is because of his sheer size on Rumble? Anywho, let us get to those emails, why don't we? From Duncan. Quote, To be honest, blank, I would be opposed to showing up on the current version of the platform. The right-wing culture of the site is too polarizing from a brand suitability standpoint today, redacted, but we are open to continuing discussion as the site evolves. I'm sorry to share that because I want to help. And now, let us read out the message from Diageo. Quote, Hey, both your team has reached out to me before and I've already expressed these concerns, so I'd appreciate no further contact unless the nature of the content on your platform undergoes a dramatic shift. One of my responsibilities is managing Diageo North America's TMP process, Trusted Marketplace, and there is no scenario where we approve a platform that has Steven Crowder, Alex Jones, or the like. The content on your platform is non-compliant pretty much across every category we try to avoid. And I'll be honest, it is a little crazy the switch up between the two companies. Duncan had the more liberal fake kindness with it, whereas Diageo had a much more blunt disdain towards conservative voices. Now, uh, am I the only one who wonders about the thoughts that these companies have towards the likes of Bosch? He seems pretty extreme, but he's libertarian. Just a question is all. So, as I said, wasn't gonna be a long video. I'm just here to cover what is happening today with the whole boycott thing. And the cherry on top of all of this is that Rumble and X are joined together in a massive suit against Garm. So, that is something, and I hope that they succeed in it. Because doing under the table despising of conservative voices is uh, really bad. Go figure. I mean, isn't it crazy that these liberal companies only have an issue with the world when it is their money at stake? It is almost as if these mega corporations only care about their bottom dollar and not the things that they socially allocate with themselves with. Who could have guessed? 
Anyway, so the end all be all of this is that liberal stupidity will always end up burning in the end, cause building a house on sand makes for terrible stability in the wake of time. But good news, cause the very simple solution to building a house on sand is to build a house on stone. Traditional things are good to conserve, cause traditional things are still standing, go figure. And isn't it common sense to vote for the side that likes solid structures in life? And best yet, is that it is a very simple solution to liberalism's stupidity, cause all you have to do is vote. And that doesn't require much effort last I checked, and at least by you doing that, then you'll be doing the right thing. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.